Hello YouTubers, Paul here, your channel host, wanting to be channel. Well, just decided to change the camera position and put on a, a different tripod just to make it a little bit more cosier for the last two vlogs for this evening. First vlog I want to uh, mention, um, on Saturday evening um, at the Newcastle Hilton, or the Gated Newcastle, Newcastle Gated Hilton Hotel um, on the banks of Gated, so it's called Newcastle Gated, Ugh, I don't know. Mind boggles. Um, it was the Royal Television Society Northeast um, Awards, and <sighs> Vera won, which I'm chuffed about, um, because of all the local crew that I know who work on it. Um, another, but a couple of things that I want to highlight that won. Uh, first one was. Um, Sunderland Till I Die, which I just noticed um, on when I was having a look on Twitter earlier on. One of my friends, um, Carly Armstrong, you worked on it. Well done. So, well done for winning. And then another one, Carly, I'll mention you at the end of this vlog. Um, you'll see why in a bit. Another one that won was um, Geordie Jazzman um, documentary the, that Abby Lewis made. Um, have a look at my review section and you will see be reviewing it last August. Now, the reason I'm highlighting that this one is because I remember in the question and answer session after the film, um, Abby mentioned that because Keith Crombie, who was who is the subject of the documentary, the Geordie Jazz Man, because he owned the Jazz Cafe on Pink Lane in Newcastle, he was Abby's godfather, and Abby said that he always pursued his passion. And I said to Abby at the time, um, in the at the Tyneside Cinema afterwards, in the um, the in the coffee in the bar, that, and I mentioned it on me um, review of the film, that I always pursue me passions as well as in my friendly stalking, which is following the TV and film crews around the northeast, and also my dolphin spotting. And I also noticed, it was pretty obvious on the film, I mentioned it on the review, if you have a look on the review, that Keith had a problem with hoarding, which is, well, if, I've never shown you me flat, but I have got a hoarding issue. Um, and it was nice that Abby said to us that evening, never give up on your hobby, which I don't. I'm not fussed if some of the film crews think it's weird what I do. I like what I do following the film crews around. Um, and Carly, you're one of the ones um, who understands my hobby and you don't think it's weird. You understand what I'm about. Um, I mean, I'm not torn everybody. Not I'm not torn all of the crew members with the same brush because a lot of them understand my hobby and know who, what I'm about. Um, Mark and Dave Gales, um, Latoya, um, just uh, just uh, are some of the ones who understand us, and I, I appreciate that. So Abby, well done, especially on winning the the award at the weekend. Um, and Carly, thank you for understanding us as well. So yeah. Thanks to all the little crew members up here who understand me about me and my hobby and my passion. And as Abby said to me, Keith never gave up on his passion. And that's what I say to anybody out there. Don't give up on your hobby or your passions. Do what makes you happy and stuff what anybody else thinks. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get going and I'll see you later, YouTubers.